All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, before we start this video, I'd just like to take a moment and um, thank all my subscribers, uh, both old and new. Um, I think at this time I'm up to just over 200 subscribers, which is great. I appreciate all of you uh, subscribing, and I always welcome comments and some feedback. So I just wanted to... Um, Give you give a shout out to everybody for that. So this project that we have here is um, well, it's already done obviously. Um, this is a zero wit style indicate holder, and um, I made this from plans that are available on the Home Metal Shop Club dot org website, and I'll put that in the descriptions in the video. Um, so this particular tool it's used to help dial in uh, the center of um, round work uh, in the milling machine. And um, it's got a few parts. It's got a spindle uh, arbor here, um, three different size collets. Um, th this is an, this is adjustable. This can slide in and out. Um, you have a course adjustment here where this whole block assembly slides and you also have a fine adjustment which moves the holder block in or out um, to give a, a fine adjustment and the holder block here it's got a round quarter inch round hole to mount an indicator with a, a quarter inch stud or as in most cases um, a dovetail which would uh, slide in and lock in like that so um, so uh, next I'll put, put this in the mill and um, we'll dial in a piece of round stock and I'll show you how how you do it with this and it makes life very easy and um, then what I'll do is um, I'll make um, additional videos showing each of the uh, parts that I made and, and I'm going to break that up into about uh, seven to eight individual uh, videos that will shortly follow uh, this video. So um, stick around and we'll get this in the mill and uh, give a, a demonstration on how it works. All right, so I got a dial indicator, uh, test indicator set up in the holding block. Um, got it uh, mounted in a uh, 3 8 uh, collet in the mill, and um, I'm going to I'm going to indicate um, first in the X direction, and um, I'm going to uh, be uh, going back and forth, z zeroing this out and taking half the distance um, until I get it uh, zeroed out then I'm going to go in the Y direction and I'll do the same so I don't know how easy it is going to be to see all of this um, but uh, I'll be turning the I'll be turning this uh, with the uh, collet nut up on the top not to put any not to influence the dial indicator in any way even though it seems like it's pretty sturdy here but um, so I'm gonna start and we'll get some sort of a reading on this uh, so okay and so so it's about Right there, it's about four thousandths, and come to this side, it's about it's about five thousandths. Uh, 
Nice, that's about two. So let's split that difference. Let's go to say about one. I'm gonna re-zero this. And let's come back here. And that's just the that's almost zero already there. So now let's let's move this in the y direction. And I'm gonna put that on zero. Zero that. Okay. Let's see if I get a mirror. It's about, if you guys can see it, it's about, it's about four. So I'm going to come in about two on that. And I'm going to come in about two on this one. zero this and okay so that's on zero now I think you guys can see that and that's on zero there and let me see if you guys can see with this here This is pretty tricky to do. I'm trying to get that in the frame. Okay. That is zero as well. And lastly, in the last Y position, uh, X position, let's see if I can get this in the frame for you as well. All right. Now that one we still got to work on. So, um, that is uh, about six. All right, so after changing the battery out and several interruptions, uh, but back over here. So um, I was about half a thou off. So uh, I have this uh, zeroed right now and uh, that's about not even half a thou. And I'm going to try getting you guys in focus with the mirror here. Let me see if I can clean that off a bit. I don't know how easy this is going to be. There is about half a thou. And that is right on the money. Um, so um, right now it's about it's about a quarter of a thousand off on each axis. So uh, could maybe that a tiny bit okay. 
Okay. Okay, so it's right on zero. about half a thou. Let's see what the back is here. That's about right on zero there. Let's see if you guys can see that's right on zero. Zero. And zero. So, all right, so pretty quickly I got that dialed in to be uh, right, uh, right on center. So, um, so uh, I'm hoping you guys are interested in this. I'm going to do a multi-part video. And um, so this is pretty much, um, it's pretty much a, a photo of what it looks like when it's done. And um, gives you a little introduction, how to make it. And apparently this looks like this might have been part of a kit of some sort. Of course, it mentions um, what's included in a kit. So uh, I made this entirely out of some scraps that I had laying around. It's mostly aluminum with some steel. Uh, and um, gives you some descriptions and uh, the assembly instructions. And... Um, that is showing you it in use aligning a rotary table and gives you what tools uh, that you'll need um, to make it and and this is where it says the a list of materials supplied with the kit so but all of the stuff is readily available and of course the uh, uh, diagram so uh, like I say I'll put the link to this in the description and um, all right hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and uh, follow along with this build